Hi, this is Yoni, and uh, we are going to play Stalker. <laughs> I've already forgotten what the game is called. Stalker, Clear Sky, and this is not going to be like a serious full, or it it might not be like a serious full playthrough like I did of uh, Shadow of Chernobyl because I have heard all of the harsh criticism about this game, or rather, I've heard that a lot of people didn't like it, but I haven't read like why or anything because I don't want. I don't want any spoilers like that. If it sucks, I want to find out for myself. So, I'm going to play it, and if I get tired of it, then I'm going to move ahead to Call of Privyat. Um, I've forgotten what else to say, so let's just start. Of course, I'm playing Master, and no crosshairs, and all of that. In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? <clears throat> Apparently my head is splitting. Do you remember what happened to you? Hmm... I remember leading an expedition through the swamps. Bunch of scientists, then the emission, that's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? <laughs> then why does it look so much like the zone? I sincerely hope this isn't heaven. <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Your voice is really low, dude. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-darks, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. I hope that you're talking about something other than God. Like, mysterious... Radioactive frogs. Yes. Yes. Mysterious radioactive frogs. <clears throat> Saved me from the swamp and... Why... Oh, there we go. Shoes! Shoes! Oh, okay. 
Backpack. <laughs> this is this is the reaction in any game. As soon as you gain control, the first thing you have to do is check lootables. Also, a very blurry computer screen. Mm. Hmm. I like the swamp. <coughs> I don't know if I will say that after like spending 40 hours in the swamp, but... And it is currently... Currently 10 past 8? Look at that lighting. <coughs> Brilliant. Um. <laughs> We're just sitting here taking a little break. Who? Are you talking about yourself in plural? What are you doing here? I'm just idling along around but not for long. Clear sky always has plenty of work to do, now more so than ever. Tell me about this place. We've been hiding here so long that sometimes I feel like the whole world is one big swamp. I heard a story once that this used to be a normal land with villages and fields. Then they started building a dam and ended up flooding the area. Either they miscalculated or just plain screwed up. Too much water. Swamp. Evacuation. Blah. I didn't mean about this area, this area. I meant about this camp. Well, whatever. <coughs> I am apparently completely there we go, incapable of finding stairs. Labs? Swamps? Hello! I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. Is your name Bean Polev? As in bean pole with a Russian V on the end. Bean pole. Mercenary Scar. Oh, my name is Scar. <laughs> uh, um, People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or indeed are completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Well, if we can't understand it, then who knows if our actions are misguided. And if you need me, you know where to find me. It didn't make a whole lot of sense being polar. My super crouch. Hello. Nimble? Is that you? The Nimble? The renowned Nimble? Or is it Glad like to see you. Got any new questions for me? Random questions. Um, <laughs> random nicknames that you give to people. Was you head over to pay the bar mine visit. All right, let me Have it. a good drink and come back then. No use talking to you now. All right. Stay in touch. Then. We may need your help soon. You like your bars, don't you? I still won't be allowed to have a mask, will I? 
There is th that is a serious flaw in these games. I feel just completely, yeah. Maybe I will. Welcome back from the afterworld. Wow, your eyes. Okay. Hello, Mark. You became cool. quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. There is not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when the mission hit. I remember nothing after that. Regain consciousness here. Well so then, tell me what happened. You drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission, the biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I see what the problem is immediately. <clears throat> You're not praying to the mysterious radioactive frog. I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me hear. <laughs> I'm kidding man. The uh, truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Um, about this place. Would you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. <laughs> I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. Oh, really? I'm no stranger to zone yet I've never heard about Clear Sky. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Bimpolev, Professor Bimpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cole, he knows what stop is going to do. Leave the alone with your dirty jokes. I need to him. see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. But well, I didn't hear. Next time you're at the swamps, don't be a stranger. I didn't get Look to hear a single dirty joke. Swamps. You sure are a whiff of fresh air. I'm a whiff of fresh air. Look at my face, man. Is this the <laughs> whiff of fresh air? <laughs> so, what do you want, Mr. Bald Man? You remind me of that bald guy in uh, Veronica Mars. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, 
but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. <clears throat> what was so peculiar about it? We've had emissions before. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. I see. How can I help you? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. What are you trying to say? I think he's trying to say that, you know, he doesn't want we to We are having in. a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type. So we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. Your we're experience under can repeat. save we're the lives of many Help. of my boy. That's enough, Chit Chen. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I remember bits and pieces. Great. Get over <laughs> to the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, Head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Sir, yes, sir. <gasps> Roger that. Who are you? Cossack. I see you. Just not a good time to talk, buddy. Haven't you heard? The second outpost is being attacked. How about you go help them out, huh? Bump in any time you feel like chatting. But I see you. Just a minute. No, trader. I was going to the trader. I'm sorry. Hmm. Flashlight. You're using a flashlight to stare at a box. Hello. Decadent. Yes. Decadent. Hello. Oh, okay. <clears throat> As usual, we're incapable of opening doors. Hi. Hello there. At last. Here, Whoa. take this basic equipment kit. It's Shotgun. designed specifically for PML control missions. Knife. Echo detector. Bandage, first aid, anti rad. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Roger that. Head to the outpost with the guide. I. wait. I equipped everything. Oh, yeah, I, I'm using some mods um, to uh, fix some of the bugs in this game. I'll list them in the description under this video. It, one of them gives me a sleeping bag. Um, shotgun, assault rifle, pistol. Mm, yes, this is what I was thinking about. 
This detector. Alarm signal when you're approaching an anomaly. Right. <clears throat> so I can actually find our Stalker, artifacts. what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? We're leaving. I... What you need, Stalker? Shut up. I'm ready. I'll blindfold you. You'll blindfold me in a swamp. Fine. <laughs> and <laughs> and then you're gone when I come back. That's... <laughs> Mark, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Bolts? Magical boat. In the honor of the frog. That looks like an anomaly. Yeah, kind of did, didn't it? In the honor of the frog, I am going to throw you these bolts, world. Oh, God. what? I threw it. <laughs> Wow, that hurt. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts in anomalies. You can't see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. It's not showing anything. Like, seriously. Uh, stop making those noises. I... I... Ah! I hate you. 